Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. Now in today's marketplace, we're seeing a lot of air gunners and probably including a lot of you back home who are looking to stretch out the accuracy of your air guns out past 100 yards. Now, to do this though, you do need some special equipment and whether you're using pellets or slugs, you wanna make sure you have some excellent long range ballistics. Plenty of power and a very accurate, well-made barrel. And I believe that Benjamin Air Guns may have just come up with a solution that ticks almost all of those boxes. Today's show is brought to you in part by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Now the Benjamin Bulldog M257 is the newest pup to the Bulldog lineup and it is a 257 powerhouse air gun that brings this new caliber option to the market in a very, very nice looking package. Why would you want a 257 slugger though? Well, it all comes down to ballistics and for those of you who are either coming from the firearms industry or are really familiar with ballistics, you'll know that the 257 traditionally has a great long range accuracy. It has a great ability to buck the wind better than other calibers and retains energy further down range better than other calibers on the market today. And get this, it's a large enough caliber that you're gonna be able to hunt both small and medium sized game when you're shooting slugs. All in all guys, the M257 is a welcome option to the air gunning community. So let's go ahead and take a look at the M257 Bulldog that I have in front of me today. Now the M257 right here comes in at about 36 inches, weighs just 7.7 .7 pounds. Of course that is unscoped and Benjamin has done us a real solid because when I say accurate barrel, well, they have an accurate barrel in here. It is a Lothar Walther barrel that is shrouded. Now I did say shrouded, but it's still plenty loud enough. You're probably going to want to add a moderator. And Benjamin came through again by putting some M18 threads to the end of the muzzle. As with a lot of modern air guns, we have a nice side lever. You can see that right here. Now I have taken my side lever and swapped it. I am a left-handed shooter and I did not want to rest my cheek on the side lever out here. So, well, I swapped it to the other side, as you can see right here. You're going to get plenty of shots out of this Bulldog. Why? Well, it comes with a 340 cc air cylinder. It's wrapped up inside of the stock so you can't see it. It fills the 3000 PSI and it's advertised that you're going to get about two magazines full of shots, which would end up being about 10 shots. Each magazine load holds five. Great little solid magazine, plenty of depth in there for what your slugs of your choice. And in my testing, well, in my testing, I think you can get more than 10 shots, but you're gonna to have to wait till you take it down the range here for that. Now you'll also notice some built in sling studs. And I think that's an obvious nod to the Bulldog's hunting pedigree. So that way when you're out there in the woods, you can put the sling on, carry it from place to place. And you're not going to be carrying it in an awkward fashion. Of course, this is all good if testing holds up. Now I did do some chronograph testing. You're going to, going to notice that we're dealing with more of a traditional, well, slide as far as the velocity goes in this air gun. We started out with a maximum of 916 feet per second using 66 grain slugs. And that's gonna produce, uh, you know, approximately 120, 125 foot pounds of energy. Plenty enough to go hunting with, plenty enough to get it down there past 100 yards if you want to. And the slugs I was using were the Griffin slugs. If you have been watching any Bulldog videos, you know that the Griffin slugs already have produced a lot of accuracy out of this air gun. And this air gun is straight out of the box. You can tell, like I mentioned earlier, looking at the chronograph data, you'll notice that it has a pretty steep decline, but you're still getting plenty of shots and plenty of power out of it throughout that string. 
I just would love to see what this air gun would do. If you add a regulator to it, you're gonna get more shots, more consistency, and able to do better accuracy out past 100 yards, I think. And that's something I might just have to try for a future video. Let me know down below if you want me to try it. The Bulldog also has, same as all other Bulldogs, has a nice two-stage trigger. And in my testing, I went ahead and did five trigger pulls and found out it came out to an average of just around 14 ounces. So not bad at all for a platform of this kind of power. Really one that's kind of meant for hunting. And if you're coming from the firearms industry, it's gonna feel really, really good. But enough talking about it. Let's get this down the range so you can see exactly how it performs at distance. Well, I just stopped shooting the review for the Benjamin Bulldog M257 for American Air Gunner. We take it out to 100 yards. But for my show, the Air Gun Advisor, we're going to go take it out to 50 yards, give you a nice sampling of what you can expect from this air gun. I'm really impressed with it. Um, we got a fresh fill, actually not quite fresh. I've taken a couple shots, but we got the 50 yard target down there. Nice little pig. And I'm going to give you a 10 shot group using not pellets, but slugs out of the M257. We are shooting the Griffin slug 66 grains. These things have been phenomenal and I've got 10 shots left. So let's go ahead, get on target and let me show you what we got. All right, there's the pig. Been shooting so much, my sand's starting to to settle in the bag. All right, get myself comfortable. There it is. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna get 10 shot group for you. Now I'll tell you, I've noticed, and I gotta keep reminding myself because I forgot a little bit when I was doing the review for American Air Gunner, but this thing likes a nice solid hold. Uh, some air guns like a little looser hold. This one seems to like a nice solid hold. <laughs> yeah, if you think the 50 yard groups that you're seeing right now are good, you're gonna have to check out the review on American Air Gunner when it comes out. Because this thing is just a hunting platform. Remember, this is unregulated also. So can you imagine, put a regulator in this, just a little more consistency, probably a couple more shots. Wow. Is that, is that five? Yeah, it was five. Let's go ahead, we got five more shots. I mean, you cannot complain about that kind of group. Not at all. You'll notice I do have hearing protection on. This is a loud air gun. We are getting to the point here on the fill where we should see maybe one or two more shots in that center group up there that we already have. And we should see a little bit of a fall off on the last couple of shots. Again, that's just knowing your platform and since it's not regulated, uh, you really need to know your platform before you take it hunting. But this, I'm loving it. Sand's falling out. All right, prop that back up just a little bit. There's a turkey. Is that six? Now you notice I'm crossing over. I did switch the handle on this gun. I, as a left-handed shooter, this thing was rusting right on my cheek and that hurt. Uh, so I did switch it over, but I, again, I, I'm just used to using my right hand to cock an air gun. Not all left-handed shooters are like that. I guess I'm just weird, I don't know. I haven't gotten used to using my left hand to cock an air gun. Did you see I pulled it a little bit? Hopefully you can see that in the scope cam. That was me. Bring it right back in. 
Again, these are slugs we're talking about off an unregulated powerhouse. Ooh. Is that it? Oh, I got one more. This is a fun big bore. Is it big bore? I mean, it's a 257 shooting slugs. I don't know. You tell me, do you consider this a big bore? I'm loving it though. All right, there we go. We can tell we just went below, I think it's down to 1800 PSI right there. And that was it. That was the 10th shot. Phenomenal air gun. Hope you guys enjoyed that review. Until next time, make sure your trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. And we will see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.